Hey everybody, this is Caitlin here and welcome to Card Game Tuesday, the day of the week where we enjoy things all card game related. In particular today, I am actually going to be doing a sort of kind of speculation slash kind of discussion slash theory thing. It's kind of like a mishmash, like kind of weird analogies and all that stuff. Me just basically talking about this that has came about a couple of weeks ago actually, or I believe uh, was it a little over a month ago? It was actually the poster and the announcement of what the second set would be called for Rare Cluster. So I believe this dropped pretty soon after I think all the starter decks were spoiled and whatnot. So it is going to be called Advent of the Demon King. And we know very little about this set actually. We really only know the name of it. We've got this poster for it here, kind of similar to how when we found out about Rhea Cluster and Ancient Knights, we got the very first poster and whatnot for it. With them, it was Freyla at the time that was on the poster. We were all maybe speculating that maybe this is what Rayla actually looked like, but actually, no, that, that was Freyla. But here we have um, just well, the one poster, we've got the title, and we have the date of when it is releasing. So, as far as I'm aware, it is going to be releasing um, sometime in December. I think it's like roughly about maybe early September, um, not September, early December. So I think it, roughly speaking, I'm thinking the, like near the front half of the month and whatnot. It's definitely not near Christmas and everything. So very, very interesting. So far, we do not have any kind of like story synopsis. Usually what happens is when they tease um, the kind of like advertising or whatnot for the new sets and everything, there's maybe like a tiny little bit of like plot synopsis or like a little summary of what kind of the story is leading to. But I suppose since we've not technically reached these um, kind of the story segments for Ray Cluster yet, because we are still trying to conclude Lapis Cluster, going to be like wrapping up, um, I'm pretty sure we've wrapped up uh, the uh, Return of the Dragon Emperor going into Echoes of the New World and whatnot. So until that story is wrapped up and stuff, I don't think we'll be getting any kind of tip bits from like a more rare cluster story. So I feel like we might not get some kind of indication about where um, in, uh, Advent of the Demon Lord is, uh, Demon King is leading to until we find out more about Rhea Cluster in particular, the setting for the world, the different characters, or like what's going to be the stakes are raised here. But Seeing that it is Advent of the Demon King and this poster, I have a couple of speculations that I want to like put forth to you guys, a little food for thought, and we can get a little discussion going in the comments down below. Now, there's a couple of things that mainly I get from the title and from the poster itself. So we know this is called Advent of the Demon King. We saw that there was um, a demon or whatnot. I think his name was, is it Kale or something like that? Or I can't remember his name exactly, but he's the, one of the um, fire SRs for Ancient Knights. So very interesting in that we get demons. So Alice Cluster and that, we we saw angel support and everything and then going into lapis cluster we saw the tiniest little bit of demon support in like a couple of cards but like because um, we saw it like with rachel we saw it with a couple of the small demons and whatnot and everything but we were like there's not really that much demon support because it's not really its own proper archetype yet it's like you've got like fairy tales and that and they've got like heavy support but it's strange to think that they've introduced demons but demons don't really have that kind of support so maybe this is actually heading in the direction of giving demons their very own kind of like uh, resonator type support and whatnot S similar to how we had the five star decks with all their things like dragonoids, pandas, mermaids and all that stuff. So that could be where this is leading. The inf product information doesn't actually specify how many unique J, J rollers will be coming with this set. It does verify that um, it is still, I believe it's still the five same basic J rollers that we got from Ancient Knights. So the same ones that work for basically the vanilla versions of the starter deck rulers. So as far as we are aware, it's, those are the same rulers that are going to be in this box, which indicates that we're still going to get continued support for the starter decks um, as they promised within each set. Whether this means that they're just going to reprint more of the cards from the deck with different artwork or whether there's actually going to be legit cards that actually help out the deck that are different from Ancient Knights, who actually knows? But it's leading me to think that if they are going to be printing even more spells and chants and resonators and whatnot to help those uh, starter decks, we may only still get three rulers again for this set, which is kind of weird because it's just like I understand how they've gone with that mechanic with the first one um, because obviously we had five rulers that were getting support and then we had another three to go in the booster boxes so i'm not too sure they may be sticking with just having three um new rulers per box or rather per set and then you only having like the chance to pull really one unless you manage to pull like an uber or something like that um but it's very very interesting so i suppose if we're going by the logic that we only have three rulers i would have to think that one of them at least is this so-called demon king because i mean this artwork here this artwork looks worthy of being on like j ruler slash ruler art 
who in particular he is is actually kind of speculation because he's not named, he's not given a name. Going by his picture and whatnot, he's got kind of like silvery white long hair, he's got horns and whatnot. People are been speculating maybe this is actually Gil. Uh, Gil the Conjurer, and maybe he is actually like made a pact or something with like the uh, Dark Elves. Maybe he's actually a demon all this time, and that's where his spirit magic originally came from and whatnot. Maybe he's been a, like a demon sleeping like within the body of like a human form and everything like that. Maybe this is just a new um, character in particular who is like been summoned and whatnot, probably from the chaos caused between the two different races of elves that have been fighting and everything. But also people have made note that the symbols that he's kind of like controlling or um, holding and whatnot, the symbols, obviously the colours are representing the five colours of well, but the symbols look very similar to the sealed items that appear on the starter deck rulers and also appear on, uh, well it doesn't appear on Pandora and that because their ones are unsealed, but it's very very interesting to note that his five symbols like seem to correlate to the language that the sealed items are um, written in. So maybe he's got some mechanic to do with sealed items, or maybe he's got some control over them. Maybe that's his own kind of magic, is like sealed magic for demons, which is um, really, really interesting. It's also kind of fun to note how the moon in the background is red, which if you remember kind of correlates a little bit back to Grim Cluster with Crimson Moon Fairy Tale, where obviously the, the moon turned red and whatnot in that one, and the moon like played heavy significance for like several of the arcs and whatnot in Force of Will, like between the times with Kaguya and you know the time where the moon was stolen and blah 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 and all that stuff. So very, very interesting. I feel like maybe this set will probably if the story doesn't do so for Ancient Knights, it will either confirm or deny whether we are actually on a new complete world or whether we are on some iteration of Grimm's world because I still think we are potentially, maybe we are in an alternate universe of Grimm's world. Like, you know how um, Alham was saying, oh, we've lived this life several times. We've gone through this, like, by the book and all that stuff. But we need to break away from it and everything. So maybe this is actually um, a version of events that played out before the main timeline and everything like that. Because we've, we've got, like, alternate, like, multiverses and whatnot. So maybe this is a timeline set in, like, the ancient days where Pandora was still young. She wasn't sealed inside the Pandora's box where Grimm was maybe um, defeated by um, Alucard slash Dracula or was like defeated by Rhea in particular because we've not seen any other vampires related to Rhea. We've only seen Rhea in particular so we don't know whether Makagi and the other sisters are there. We don't know any of that. We don't know whether um, this kind of war between the elves, whether this occurred before Feastling's time or anything like that or whether these are like a completely different group of elves than to the ones that she knows like back in Amundsville because they seem to have a different home um, compared to where Feastling came from and everything like that so that is also really interesting and obviously these demons don't seem to come from Altia they don't seem to have like the kind of the same kind of motif as Altians as because like I had this theory that the Altians were actually demons, that they were not wizards, but they were actually demons whose magic manifest in the form of the mana. And that's what they called their magic, their kind of demonic magic. That's what made sense to me anyway, because it was like, okay, you ha all have familiars, which is like pretty like demonic in itself. And then obviously um, Rachel herself, she turns into like an angel demon hybrid thing, which seems pretty demonic to me. So that's why I was thinking maybe the Altians were originally demons or maybe they became demons by having packs with their familiars, which is why I was going on to maybe the, like the theory that maybe this demon king is actually Gil the Conjurer. And this is how the kind of the family of Gil uh, started where he like basically ascended into demonhood and he gained all this magic power and stuff and he established Altia but maybe maybe not you never know because really Force of Will pulls some crafty crafty tricks when it comes to the story and whatnot about what, what their magic does about the characters where they come from how they get their powers and why they've got these powers their motivations and everything so really it's only up to speculation and all I've got to speculate on is literally the title of the set and one picture but Going off, I feel like maybe this Demon King guy, he feels as if, I don't know if they're, they're going to go into um, doing dual type rulers yet. I don't know whether if since we only got three new rulers um, for different colours and whatnot from Ancient Knights, the next three might be like the ones that we didn't get. We didn't get a blue ruler and we didn't get a, I believe, a, uh, we didn't get a fire ruler. So potentially we could get two new rulers with those colours and maybe the last one could be a dual colour one. Maybe I could potentially see this guy being like... Um, 
darkness in red, although Freyla kind of had the thing where like she was predominantly dark, but she did things if you paid red colour well for fire and everything. So I'm not too sure, guys, but I'm really interested to find out what you guys think about Advent of the Demon King. I keep wanting to say Advent of the Demon Lord, even though I know he's the Demon King, you know, he is royalty, he's a king after all. He looks ready to mess up with some people, so I'm not quite sure who his enemy is going to be. Like, maybe is he going to be siding with, like, the Dark Elves? Is he siding with Rhea? Is he siding with the party of people? It's very, very interesting. I'm not too sure where it's going to go. Don't know what if these demons are going to be, like, the big bad final bosses, because so far it's, like, it feels like Rhea seems to be indicated as to either being the big bad um, of this cluster, or maybe she is going to be the main hero. We don't know, no, because obviously we had Lapis Cluster, and he was technically the big bad for the cluster, and kind of went the opposite way, where normally the clusters are named after the hero of the story, where we had Grimm and we had Alice. Maybe we're taking a turn where the next two clusters are named after bad guys instead, which would be a different take on it and whatnot, but the, obviously you can maybe say, maybe they're anti-heroes, or maybe they're just like something like that, or antagonist rather, instead of like protagonist. But I think it's really interesting. I think it's um, definitely interesting to find out whether or not we're going to see more reprints from the starter decks, whether or not we're going to see more unique support for the Star Trek rulers and, and basically just to find out maybe if there's going to be continued support for all the rulers because we only got like a little glimpse of like support for the Ancient Knights rulers. It'd be kind of cool if maybe they carried it over a little bit into uh, Advent of the Demon King and uh, maybe give them a little bit of support but I guess it just depends on what colours the uh, rulers will be for this second booster pack set and whatnot. So I hope you guys are interested about this. We will probably be covering all the news that comes out for this as um, kind of the months go by. We are just going to be entering October but pretty much like by next week and whatnot so maybe we won't be getting any more news about this until November time I would think we've still got like a little while away until it's out and Ancient Knights literally just dropped and whatnot so we probably won't hear too much information about this anytime soon that's just my guess obviously I, mean, I could very well post this in like some news like drops out of nowhere just out of the blue like hey here's more info about Advent of the Demon King and I'll just be like I'm sat here with egg on my face but I hope you've enjoyed this little speculation guys whether you joined in and whatnot leave a comment down below whether you think that this guy is maybe Gil maybe he's a totally different character maybe he's like Gil Alhama maybe he's Gil Lapis with a new form who actually knows I'd love to hear your comments guys let me know down below what you think about this news and until next time guys I will see you all later.